welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a brown glittery smoky eye. And we're going to start off by priming the eyes with just way too much concealer. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline, what is it called? The Maybelline Master Conceal. And I'm using the shade, hold on, I have to find it. Uh, I'm using the shade 40 Medium. And I'm just blending that in with a beauty blender and then setting it using the Makeup Forever HD setting powder. And then I'm going to begin hollowing out the crease using Dusty Rose from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and the Real Techniques Crease Brush. And this is just going to add a nice wash of color into the crease and lay down a base color for the rest of our transition shades. And I'm using very light pressure and windshield wiper motions. And yes, I know my brows are like insane, but deal with it. Then taking the Morphe 350 palette and the warm peach shade from the left side and then the more orangey shade right below that bright orange shade on the right side and mixing them together. And then I'm just going in using a Royal and Langnickel Crease BC430 brush. And I'm gonna blend that out before adding more depth using the second shadow in from the right on the bottom row of the Morphe 350 palette to further hollow out the eye. Next I'm going to go in with this dark ass shadow from Beguine. It is super super pigmented so a little goes a long way. I literally tap my brush in once and then I'm just patting all over the lid and this is going to be the base for our brown glitter that we're going to add in just a second. Make sure you cover your whole lid going up into the crease and then blend any harsh lines if you have any using a clean blending brush. And the one that I'm using is the, let me find it, I can't find it, I don't know what it is, sorry. But it's I believe from Royal and Lay Nickel, yes it's the Smudger C420 brush. And I'm going to run that under my lower lash line a little bit as well. And then we're going to lay down the star of the show, which is number 30. It is a loose brown glitter pigment from Shani Cosmetics. And I ordered these online from Amazon as a whole set. It came with like 30 pigments and they're awesome. And I'm just going to foil that using some setting spray from Ma uh, Maybelline. And then a concealer brush from Royal and Langnickel. It's their concealer BC210 brush. And I'm just foiling that all over the visible lid area, not going into the mobile crease. And then once that has fully dried, I am going to blend that out and just add a little more to the other side because I lost some of that while finishing that eye up. And then I'm going to blend out any harsh edges after it's dried using the Sigma E36 blending brush. Then to add a little more definition in the outer corner and a little bit of coolness, I'm taking, um, what is it called, Blue Velvet from the Artist Palette, also from Anastasia, and this is just a deep blue navy denim color. And it's very subtle when you layer it with other dark colors, but it adds just a hint of coolness to any look. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of Noir from the World Traveler Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is just going to further intensify the look and make it just that much more dramatic. And to smoke out the lower lash line and get rid of any harshness from that noir shade, I'm taking a clean pencil brush from Ofra Cosmetics and running that in my lower lash line, as well as up into the crease to slowly and slightly diffuse out that black. Next, before applying falsies, we're going to coat our lashes with mascara and get some on our nose. But if that happens to you, let it dry and start something else. Um, I'm going to put the glue on my lashes before it dries and then wipe it away with a Q-tip. Now I don't know where my tweezers are, so I had to do this with my hands today. And I think I sat here for, oh god, a good 10 minutes. So put your lashes on however you'd like, hopefully faster than I did and then you're good to go. Like, do you see, like, what's wrong with your hands? I don't know. I don't know. There's literally like five minutes off camera of me just, ugh, you know. All right, struggle's real. Anyway, we're gonna go on to our face and I'm not using a primer today because I'm not 
really going to wear this look for long. I'm literally washing it off as soon as I finish, so I'm not going to waste my Becca primer. Um, but normally I would prime the face using Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and then going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 220. And I'm going to blend that all over the face, flace, my face, using the Sephora Complexion Perfector Brush from the 24 Karat Gold Mine set from last two years ago's Christmas brush set. And I'm also going to highlight and conceal under my eye using two, using 20 Sand from the Fit Me Concealer line, also from Maybelline. And I'm just using that same brush. I'm being lazy today, and we're just going to blend that in and then highlight and conceal the rest of my face. So on the other under eye, I'm going to do my nose. You guys know the whole the whole shebang and again same brush if you want to use a beauty blender go ahead but i don't really want to today and we're going to highlight the chin as well as the center of the forehead and the reason we do this isn't because i need to conceal anything there it's just when you're highlighting and contouring you need balance to your face you don't want just really bright under eyes and then nowhere else in your face bright so you want to kind of even it out um, now for my nose i'm using the eclipse palette from coastal sense and these are thicker concealers they're more like they're more like cream stick concealers and i'm just hollowing out the corners of my nose not hollowing i'm defining out the corners and sides of my nose with a dark brown shade from that palette and then highlighting the bridge of my nose with the banana yellow shade now I must note, because I do acid peels and whatnot to my skin, my nose gets super red in the process of contouring, so that's why this looks a little red right now. But please just know if you do intend to buy this palette, the shades are actually quite cool toned. Um, so once my nose has like calmed down a little bit, it won't be as red, and you'll see that in just a second. Now I'm taking a cream blush. This is from Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. I got this as a sample, and I'm just blending that into my face using the same brush as before, and it's the shade Sunset. Um, now to highlight and get ready for my beaming highlight that I'm going to apply later, I'm laying down some Becca Backlight Priming Filter in just specific areas, like the high points of my cheeks, and then I'm going to set my face using the Cody Airspun translucent setting powder that Tati recommended to me. This is, I, I've been using this for years now and I still have not finished a full thing. It, this powder lasts forever. Um, so with a dry beauty blender, I'm just patting that into the areas of my face where I applied the concealer, like my forehead, under eye area, and chin. And then with whatever was left in the cap, I'm just taking a large powder brush and setting the rest of my face and dusting away the powder that I used to set my under eye because that was a little bit heavier. Now for blusher, we're taking the ambient lighting blush from Hourglass, and this is in the shade Mood Exposure. It's a very pretty lavender shade, which goes really great with the more kind of fiery red cream blush that we applied underneath. And the reason why I apply blush first is because I'm a guy. I like my blush to be very diffused. I don't like it to be super obvious, especially if I'm wearing it in a daily look. So I like applying my bronzer and contour on top of it to kind of, I don't know, kind of melt it into the rest of my powders and products so it's not like blush. You know, you know what I mean. Next, I'm going to take this contour pal palette that I got from the little, like, convenience, not convenience, it's like a beauty supply store in downtown, and it was literally like $4, and it's amazing. I'm going to do a review on it another time, but... I'm taking the contour shades from that palette and mixing them together and just hollowing out my cheeks as well as my jawline. And then I'm going to highlight my cheekbones using Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill. And I'm applying this liberally as hell. Like, I want my cheekbones to be beaming, but for my nose I'm keeping it a little more subtle than I normally would, just making the tip a little more highlighted. And then I'm going to carve out my nose by thinning out the sides of it and lifting the tip using the contour shade from that palette. And then a little kind of, I don't know what brush this is. It's from, oh, it's number 119 from BH Cosmetics. I got it in my Ipsy. And again, as I said before, my nose gets super red when I'm contouring. As you can see, it's very irritated. But at the end of the video, you'll notice it's gone down and it looks more like a shadow. For my brows, we are 
going in with Sigma Brow Powder Duo in the shade Dark, and we're just filling that in with a Royal and Langnickel Taclon Short Liner Brush. And this is like a flat definer brush, um, which is really good for brows. And then I'm just going to brush that with this spoolie. Then taking Tool, 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 Tully, to I have no idea. T U L L E from um, ColourPop. It's one of their matte liquid lipsticks. And I'm just filling in my lips. I'm not overdrawing them too much, but yeah, it's a beautiful mauve shade. And that's it, guys. So I'm going to model for you in just a second. I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, I'm going to say bye at the end of this, but that's about it for now. Um, I'm going to finish up this lip look. It literally took forever. Um, and then I'm going to set my face using the Maybelline Studio Master Fix, whatever it's called, setting spray. And now I'm going to model for you. Here you go. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That concludes this look. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any recommendations for another look, let me know in the comment bar down below. And until next time, bye y'all.